Hello everyone, it's me again. Sorry about it, it's been so long, but I've been so busy. But anyways, I um, wanted to talk about co-signing again. So I talked about uh, a couple of years ago, or a number of years ago, my oldest daughter turned 18, she walked out of my life, came back when she was 24, and um, I gave her yet another car of mine to use. And um, she was responsible for maintaining all the vehicles that I gave her to use. So anyways, um, she came back. I got into an accident with my primary vehicle, so I needed to take my secondary vehicle back from her. So she needed a vehicle because she worked and had two jobs. And most expensive car I ever bought was like a $5,000 car. Uh, payments were around $150 a month. And so she had been working two jobs and... Um, said she could afford car payments. We went and I signed for a car for her. It was an and title, not an or title. I was the primary, she was the secondary. She said she could make her 350, it was 352 a month for six years. And I said, that was great. And um, then she got mad at me and took off again and took the car and both sets of keys. And I don't know where she's at. And so over the years she's deferred the payments and um, she was recently late and uh, I've been telling her, if you can't afford the car, turn it in, do, you know, tell me what's going on. I even made a car payment for her, and then she made the payment after me, and I got reimbursed. And anyways, um, uh, I was, I've been moving, and I'm moving to a new place, and um, I'm almost done at my previous play apartment, and lo and behold, I get a text that says the car's in front of your apartment, and the keys are in front of, in front of your door, and the vehicle was basically abandoned by my daughter at my place with two years left of payments on this car. Three fifty a month plus insurance plus whatever. <laughs> I was like, what? No way. Sure enough, I got the vehicle. I had to drive it over to my new place. The, the, you know, <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyways, um, kind of knew this might happen whatever the case but I'm just letting you know being a parent does not require you to finance anything for your for your child including a wedding education etc best thing I think my mom ever did was when I turned 12 you know she told me now you can work you can go make money you go babysit pick up cans sell newspapers or whatever I will supply your socks and underwear a house and food and whatever you want or whatever or you buy it yourself that included record albums or candy or clothes my favorite jeans whatever and my mom did not pay for our college education she bought our books our school books for for college and uh, she put only two thousand dollars towards each wedding um, that was it she didn't give us a car she didn't give us money for a car she didn't give us money for gas she told us that whatever we wanted we were to by ourselves and that's just the way it was and I want to let you know that you are not required to give your child anything after they turn 18 you do not have to co-sign for anything and the you know the funniest thing is I always bought these used cars and most of the expensive car I had ever bought back in like 1999 when I was still married was a five thousand you know five thousand dollar vehicle the payments were 150 a month which I could afford, but yet, when my daughter needed a car and, and agreed to make these payments, I bought her a fifteen thousand dollar car that was, I think, a, a year old. Um, payments were three fifty a month. She agreed that she would pay for this vehicle and made four years of payments and drops it off. So there's twenty two payments left on this vehicle. Balance is eight thousand eight hundred dollars, and the car's worth about forty five hundred dollars. As we all know, that's what happens with vehicles, but that's what we do for our kids um, we give them more than what we give to ourselves and what we have to learn how to do is say no if you want a phone buy a phone to save your money go work for your grandma go work for the neighbors go save your pennies and if you want a new phone you're gonna buy your phone if you want a pair of jeans you're gonna buy it if you want an iPad you buy it if you want latest greatest pair of tennis shoes you go buy it it's gonna come out of your birthday money your Christmas money or the money that you make yourself and that's it you're not required to do anything for your kids in fact now I'm having 
you know, the, the car is 352 The insurance is about $60, $70 a month because it's a newer car. And there's a loan on it. So $450 a month out of my pocket, which I didn't expect. So, and, you know, the thing is, is even if I am retired, even if you have the money, and most people don't, don't do it. I'm just letting you know. Co-signing, money has nothing, love has nothing to do with money. Love, love means you, you give your ch child a safe place to live and an education and the wherewithal to be self-sufficient. And when they turn 18, they should have a plan. And they should have had a plan before that because a lot of kids are driving when they're 16. So therefore, they should know what it, it is to pay for gas, insurance, maintenance, oil changes. They should know how to check tire pressure, etc. So I'm just letting you know, uh, my daughter says I'm shaming her via social media. I've never used her name and that is on her if she feels that way, but she's claiming that financially she can't afford it anymore because she has certain situations going on in her life. And you know, I, I according to my previous videos, which I've shared, I've always had certain situations going on with my life, but because of the way I was raised, I just get up, move on, and continue to do whatever it takes to maintain my life. So anyways, that's all I want to talk about. Um, that's it. Don't co-sign for anything. You don't have to. It's not required, and it's got not the law that you have to. So um, hope this helps, and I hope everyone is having a great day. Bye-bye.